what's your trailer for that part again? Not yeah. specifically the And that does happen, in, that yeah. happens yeah. in trailers and teaser trailers. It's, they, the build up. It, it's that, that build up where people won't really know what's going on at all. It's, exactly. And then it's when you get that strike, that essentially that crescendo into mm. uh, into the main action. Yeah, exactly. that's, this, that's where you, this makes it this makes the um well, audience want to watch it again, and that's the whole point of the teaser trailer. You want to get as much notice and recognition as you can. Exactly, and that, that is a, uh, another point to make it successful. Um, they, there were uh, a few issues to end. Well, actually, first, you can talk about those positive points, then we'll move on to the issues. Sorry, um, okay. Yeah, quite a lot of people um, seem to, well, like the teaser trailer overall, you know, obviously, um, different aspects of what we mentioned. They seem to like it, and that's encouragement to show that they would like to see the final product, um, which is good, which I guess shows that our overall package and the teaser trailer in it was successful in what we aimed it to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess as an overall, like in the industry, that's what teaser trailers are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The audience is pretty much unanimous, they liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah in an overall perspe perspective, they enjoyed it. So, <coughs> um, you know, some of the reasons that we picked up that the reason, well, reason why they enjoyed it was like the synchronized shots I guess. I guess it shows well just good editing I suppose. Yeah I think it's, Stephen it's, mentions it's, it. I think Stephen mentions it in the short little individual clips, isn't he? Mm. Uh, he talks about like, that. There's nothing with synchronized shots there's nothing really that kind of is gonna be I guess I don't really know what the word would be but it would just it's good because it shows like the good editing and different kind of it varies what's in the thing. It's not just straight cuts and clips and stuff like that. It's, yeah. It shows a different style of editing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess. Again, it would fit with convention so it's easier. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Okay. Um, well, we'll talk about the issues. Uh, we'll start with uh, the lighting in dark areas. Uh, it's in uh, specifically in shots that involve uh, the, the interior of my extension. At the time, uh, I think I mentioned this in the actual evaluation. Uh, feedback clip itself that we've seen before this, um, the, the we couldn't really change much about it. We could have used lights, but it would have looked less organic, and it would it would have just looked it wouldn't have looked right. It would have been out of place. Well, as well, initially it looked better uh, when the first time that we shot it, because obviously, as we mentioned before in other evaluation questions, uh, that the camera broke on us at one yeah. point. It was actually the SD card, and we lost a lot of footage. Yeah. Um, and that was at a point when uh, the walls were white and they reflected light quite yeah, well. Yeah, because after that they were plastered it and then it, it basically made it a lot darker. I mean, if we were to film now, to talk about in retrospect, if we were to film now, everything's been painted white, so it would be a lot brighter. It just, it just really depends on the circumstances. I think that's one of the things you could work upon um, yeah. for audience feedback. That's one of the biggest issues. The lighting, yeah, lighting. Yeah, there was some dark. I mean, it's it's viewable, and I guess it reflects like the dark. Tell me what you see, but it's. Too dark. It could have been worse though. We could have used the flips in. Yeah, it could we yeah, used yeah, the flips yeah. as it would have been seen. Exactly. As it was seen on quite a few of the projects last year, it's like in the extended version of the recruiter last year. Uh, there's the opening sequence oh, yeah. in my room where I'm on the computer and you can hardly see anything. And it, it applied that same th problem with the flips was uh, in a load of people's projects because the lighting just it wasn't sufficient. <coughs> it didn't pick it up well enough. So at least we had a camera which could deal with it to some extent. So at least we can see it quite well, but obviously there were the issues. So. Yeah. Okay. And one more uh, issue of my part uh, that I mentioned earlier on, you said there was a clear, uh, notice, notable uh, teaser trailer vibe. Uh, there was a couple of people who, might, uh, who said that it was might have been on par with teaser. I think it was Kai. He said that it was online, but it was on par with teaser trailer and an official trailer, which we didn't really want to do. We thought we achieved the teaser trailer look perfectly. I, mean, uh, I don't we think his um, points were very uh, thorough though. Like you just no, 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 no. You yeah. couldn't really back it up. You couldn't really back up the points, but uh, I, I can see where it comes from. But um, it's I because think, we I think it's one of the full length that we could have done for a teaser trailer yeah. Yeah, yeah. Minutes, rather than cutting it off at it might, one minute. Yeah, yeah, it might be something to do with the time as well as just the variation of shots, because in a lot of teaser trailers there might not be that amount of shots. But as a teaser trailer itself, it still just remains ambiguous and basically yeah. doesn't give any plot away. So I think that uh, I think we there's only two lines of dialogue or two like sections. Well, yeah, it's one long one. Oh, as, and also, at the end. as I previous me previously mentioned earlier, in the question was that a few people said that it reveals 
quite a fair bit of the plot, but just doesn't explain the context behind it. Yeah. I think that's yeah. something well, that's that added to him saying, well, it's more like a trailer because some of the teaser trailers that we analysed before in our research, we, could, yeah, we couldn't really get much of the plot from it by itself, but our teaser trailer quite was quite revealing in terms of the plot, but then... I think maybe he was a bit confused about the concept. Uh, again, similarities to Clockwork Orange, you see the Clockwork Orange teaser trailer, it's just quick shots of um, violence, and we have... The same thing with quick Girl shots of Jack violence. Too. Yeah. We just wanted to re re sort of reflect that. Um, have you got any points um, on your well, part? Another issue we had was the level of violence. Um, one member of our class said that they were actually concerned and also traumatised at some sections, like especially my scream. Um, and that affected her, and um, that's like given us um, thoughts on I maybe mean, we should have possibly toned it down mm. with like different shots to make it less viewable to a, yeah, a larger audience. Even though there are, is no blood shown. There is no it, blood shown. The, uh, the idea, the brutality of it is maybe yeah, a bit too much. It, it is essentially torture. It's like yeah. sometimes well, it's a quick hit is so much worse than watching someone have to suffer. So obviously yeah. we couldn't fit that into a teaser trailer because it's just unfitting with both the conventions of and uh, like the, the homage to the sort of cock orange style, uh, but also the what the kind of the, the context itself. So I mean, with those quick hits had to really be that, that that's that was the least violent that we could really fit in there. And and the thing is as well as if we if we didn't put those kind of clips in. It would kind of be misleading yeah, towards most yeah. of the audience. It, it wouldn't represent wouldn't the real atmosphere. Yeah, really. it wouldn't represent our film. The and point would be gone. And also, give us the other choice to tone up the violence, maybe include blood. And maybe. And so, then release so it with 18 films. This could be released with 15 films, and people said that. Like, this would be something. Yeah. And so some, 15. Someone mentioned the, uh, the fact that there was a. Um, that there was the whole green band, red band switch, but, like, really, for UK films and. Really, uh, and because it's a teaser trailer, it didn't again it didn't really apply to us that much. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with the fifteen thing, a lot of the people believed that it was kind of mixed. Like the violence, some people thought was okay, mm, but and a few people thought it wasn't. And which means, but then maybe we should look at it. Uh, even the way we did this, even with um, like main films, like you know big films, there's always going to be people who don't like certain bits. Yeah, you know, yeah. for one person out of a class of how many was in there, maybe 12 to 15 people, mm -hmm. you know, um, one out of 12, 15 people is pretty good. Yeah. Like it's, it's a, you know, so it's it was a, it overall it was a really positive screening, I'm really happy with it. If we were making an actual film and people, if the censors did believe it could have passed for a 15, the that itself. would be good because it would set out. Plus, like, loads of 18 year olds go into 15 films. Yeah, the audience Which, would be increased yes. and that would be, that's obviously a massively um, important marketing point. Yeah. That is true. Also with the um, poster and the Empire magazine, I um, showed it to a sample of 10 people and just to get them a feedback of what they believed, um, um, if it was good or not and how effective it was as a poster in Empire magazine. Um, and the response there was positive as well. Um, they said that the poster, um, it fit with conventions and they could actually see it um, in the cinema on like the board while well, coming soon um, and the minimal poster was effective as well because it resembled what our plot was and they were the base they were the main points given out um, some people did say that the Empire magazine was blurred um, and that there was um, issues with like the focus of the picture in the Empire magazine but um, they said that it is considering we did use a photo shoot to um, get the image for the Empire magazine um, which is, it happens in um, magazines that you use photo shoots to get the image for the main cover. They so rarely use um, clips from the actual film, do they? The actual screenshots. They do a photo yeah. shoot. So people picked up on that, um, yeah. and they also picked up on the Empire logo being covered by the head, yeah. like it's slightly obscured, as well as some other features that they'd see, like a free giveaway of a poster in our case, and also mentioning of other films because obviously we're not the main focal point. Well, we are the main focal point, but we're not the only focal point. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. And um, with the website, I did the same as Luke, I showed it to a few people. And um, the, the main kind of feedback I got from them was it, that it fit the atmosphere of the film. It kind of, it was a reflection of, well, what you would see on the poster, like the dark atmosphere, as well as in the teaser trailer. Um, the it's dark consistent frame. with the theme. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and um, the thing that uh, they also said was that it kind of, 
it had everything on there, which I guess there was enough viable. content. Yeah, there was it was a good it was sufficient enough content for them to be happy if they were going onto the site trying to find something out. Then they would most likely be able to find something out. Like they could see the teaser trailer on there. They could download the free posters, and also they could get um, like a little synopsis about the films if they didn't know um, about the film. And so, uh, um, since uh, the internet is such a valuable tool, especially nowadays yeah. for films, I mean, uh, it's going to be this a really good and easy tool. I think they did, I might have got that wrong, but um, it's. Uh, it's a, it seems like a fairly easy site to navigate, so I suppose yeah. that's another... You kept it minimal. Um, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's kept it very... It's simple. quite user-friendly in terms mm. of you know, being able to navigate the website. It's literally five pages. There's nothing to like click on or there's no... like. There's no like yeah. ad pop-ups or anything or, or, or just a bombardment of uh, just a load of different images or text. Or it's, just, it's very plain and simple, but it does let you know everything the audience could... Yeah. So overall, people viewed our whole um, media package as successful, and they thought that um, it could fit with conventions of real-life media packages, and they enjoyed like looking at our posters and watching our teaser trailer, and they um, they gave us positive feedback on it, and the issues we did have were very um, minimal. Yeah. Yeah. That we if we did um, go back and fix up those issues, it would be. Um, we wouldn't have any more to talk about. They're yeah. quite, they're quite solid, concrete issues which can yeah. be fixed with a simple, just yeah. taking some it's shots. Basically, away it's either it. it's either filming a couple more shots or just re-editing or moving. All the issues around. were opinionated in that some people will agree, some people disagree, yeah. and we can't get everyone. Obviously, exactly. an you audience is only limited. You can't like. You can't appeal to everyone. You can't essentially, we did. Can. We did. Uh, Incidentally, run by majority, it did apply to it a lot. Yeah, and also, well, say if there was a screening of um, like a, well, a trailer or something like that, normally with big um, films, the audience would be people that want to go and see it, whereas yeah. our screening was just, it's just it, people whoever, that are whoever watching it. Yeah, so we but get at the same time, so there like, can be people who. That, it sort of, that, that idea sort of applies to real life media product as well because. Um, a lot of the time, like in the prop, not just teaser trailers, but like a proper film, uh, if they can have a test screen for the audience, they never have the the, the audience don't even know half the time what the film is going to be. Yeah, it's just so it is a bit. It is a very general opinion. It's not like the kind. We're not our audience. Our audience, our uh, uh, target, which would be the thr thr uh, thriller viewers. It wasn't just them. It was just a general opinion, which is basically the same. Yeah. Oh, uh, actual product itself is quite a hard sell to make, and I think we've made it to a large audience. Mm and uh, they're successful. Mm. I think that's all we can talk about, really. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.